So just came home to this. Yep, the fun of reefing, right? Oh man, that really sucks. So you guys are probably wondering what caused it. Was it uh, disease, ick, velvet? Nope, it wasn't any of that. I actually know or have an idea that I know exactly what it was. It all started the other day when I dosed the general cure as per the regimen. I did it on my first batch of fish and I noticed on, I dosed it on Tuesday, on Wednesday, I came and I noticed the yellow tang wasn't eaten. Like it normally attacks the food and it was not eating. So that was very interesting. I was like, huh, that's very weird. And he would eat, but just very little. Yesterday I did another dose of general cure and I noticed for sure something was wrong. He was not, uh, we're not eating at all. He was hiding a lot. And if you actually pay close attention, the convict is showing the same signs as he was a few days ago. Uh, breathing heavily and just very lethargic, not eating. And you're probably saying, so what was it? Well, humble fish states that you general, generally you are able to use general cure with copper power. What I'm thinking happened was when General Cure was introduced into the system with copper at around 2.5 ppm, it took out and absorbed too much oxygen out of the water. The air, there, the bubble maker here has been running for a few days. I actually added it when I added the General Cure because I know that's a side effect when you're running double medication, oxygen really uh, gets depleted within the system. With that, again, I can't guarantee it, but I think that's what was the issue. And it really gets me upset. Um, you know, I mean, it, it's, it's something I wouldn't have learned without going through it, but still it gets me upset because it did not need to happen. I, I don't know. Nothing we can do now um, other than save the fish that are in there. The purple tang is looking pretty discolored. The convict is, as you see him, very lethargic, breathing heavy. So something's telling me that that medication is just depleting the oxygen from the system. So what we're gonna do is completely do a big water change on the system. Uh, we'll do about a 50% water change and that should put everything a little bit more in balance than it is now. I probably won't continue with Genercure. I won't dose it again. It, and it's crazy because the other fish, I, the other fish, if you guys remember, we did two doses of general cure. One one week, one the other week, no problem whatsoever. For whatever reason, maybe oxygen levels are a bit lower this, I don't know. I, I, I really don't know what to say. But I can almost guarantee that's what the problem is. And... Uh, so what I'm doing now, I'm warming up water. It's pretty cold here in California. I mean, not compared to where a lot of you guys live, but uh, the water's a bit cold. I have the heater in there. I'm trying my best to hurry up and do a water change so I don't lose the purple and so I don't lose the convict. The convict especially, he's breathing really heavily. And now that I kind of have an idea what it is, um, I want to address it. It for sure was an ammonia, it for sure was a nitrate. I've tested both of those. Those are both in line. Salinity's fine, copper's fine. The only thing I can point the finger to is the general cure just depleted too much oxygen out of the system, especially seeing how they're breathing and how they got pretty lethargic. The water has been heating up here for probably about 30 minutes. I've already, you know, it's pre-mixed in my uh, salt bin. The only reason I do it in this bucket because it's quicker to warm up five gallons than it is to warm up. I think that's about 22 gallons. The temperature isn't exactly where I'd want it. It's about 75 degrees. I run the quarantine at around uh, 79, 80. Uh, but I got to weigh the odds. Would I rather those fish, you know, take a dump tonight or, you know, the temperature a little, a little bit lower. It's not gonna be that big of a shock to them. Um, I don't know about you, but I'd rather do this, 75 degrees. I don't think it'll be too big of a shock to them. You know, the temperature difference won't be that much when you take into account the percentage of water that I'm changing out. So 
Yep, uh, we're gonna quickly get to that. I don't wanna waste any more time because like I said, the convict isn't looking too good. Just finished the water change. I hope you guys can forgive me for not recording that. As you can imagine, I was juggling a lot. I had my hands full, but everything's good. I typically will pump water in with a pump, uh, but today I made it a point to splash, not splash, but uh, drop the water in with a bucket so it creates, so there's more oxygen within the tank and I think that should put us in a better spot. Uh, so I can say with certainty, at least now we can say, look, I think they're looking happier. Look at them, they're over there fighting. Yeah, I'm just really hoping, um, you know, I don't lose these guys because that would, as it is, it's it's pretty difficult losing that uh, the yellow tank. Um, I'm really, really hoping these guys, I was able to do what I could in time. And if so, I'll be able to know what to point the finger. I think now time will tell. I'll give you guys an update a few days after. Fingers crossed, hopefully everything turns out good. All right, so we're here. It's, what, six days later. Let me just tell you guys the news isn't that great. It's been about a week later. Honestly, I'm pretty upset, pretty sad. I, I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to think. As you can see, there's only one fish that's in here. The purple, I can't even believe this. I don't even know what to do. Yeah, you know what, we're, you know, I'll, yeah, I'll just do another video another day because oh, it just hasn't been my week. We're back a few days later. I had really some time to think. And yeah, if you guys saw that previous clip, I, it was very hard and it still is hard on me for various reasons. Number one, I'm obviously upset. Uh, not, I wouldn't say I'm mad, I'm just upset at myself. What did I do wrong that I wasn't or couldn't keep these fish alive? What, what did I do wrong? So I'm, I'm trying to figure out if it was something I did, if it was something I just had no control over. Because um, I feel ultimately each and every one of us, whether coral or fish, we have a responsibility to do our best to give our, whether coral or fish, the best life we can. And I, I'm obviously sad. You know, I, I the, the fish I had, I, I you really create a bond with them in, in a quarantine, unlike in a display. A display, I notice, takes a little bit more time. Uh, in a quarantine, you really create a bond because you're able to, you know, they come up to you to eat. They were doing good. I don't know what happened. I, I really don't know. I was talking to Humble Fish during when this stuff was kind of happening. And, uh, you know, I didn't get a definite answer from him either. We believe it might have been I starved them from oxygen. But why are these okay? And why is the blonde naso okay? If that was the case, these should have died and the naso should have died. So originally where I thought it might have been my fault... I don't, I really don't know if it was my fault. I, I can't say, confirm nor deny as they say, whether it was something I did. I originally thought the general cure caused it by bringing down the oxygen level, but it doesn't make sense. There's an, you know, there's bubbles, there's oxygen flowing in there. I don't know, I really don't know. For you guys wondering the symptoms I noticed, uh, the fish were eating, they were fine. Then they slowly stopped eating. They slowly started getting really skinny, really quick and they slowly started to become more lethargic, not eat, not swim. And one thing I really noticed, they were breathing very heavy. So that tells me it had something to do in their gills, but then again, we had copper in here. Shouldn't that have killed everything? I mean, I'll be honest with you guys. One side of me is saying the hell with this whole quarantining thing. I'm just gonna start throwing the fish inside the tank and do the way you know we're all doing it. But then the other side of me says, look, you can base one experience, at least one bad experience, and have that dictate the, west, the rest of my reefing experience. But I think what, what throws me off, what's the frustrating part about this is that I don't know what happened. Because at least by me knowing what happened, I can fix it to make sure it doesn't happen again. The fish showed no spots, no fin, no none of that. Nothing like that. I, nothing I could see, at least with my eyes on the exterior. From going great to going south really quickly. Now, I know some of you guys may say velvet, but given these fish were in copper for, I think when I first started noticing the problem, was two and a half weeks into the treatment. So, 
You know, it's really difficult. I, I, I really hate when this happens. I'm, I'm still pretty saddened by it. What are the plans now? What are we gonna do? Well, I don't think I'm gonna add fish uh, just for a little bit. I'm gonna gain my ground again, do more research, try to find an answer. Maybe someone watching this video that does quarantining that uses the meds I use, like Copper Power and General Cure, or maybe you see something clearly that I'm missing as to what could have caused it, uh, you know, maybe you guys can enlighten me, can give me something, some glimpse of what it could have been to make sure I don't have this happen again. So, yeah, I mean, all I'm, all I can do now is, is, is move on, learn as best as I can. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to learn at this point. I really hope someone can enlighten me. And it sucks. It really, really, really sucks. On the brighter side of things, I figured we'd end this with a good note. Just if you guys caught it in the video, the only survivor was the Blonde Naso. So the Blonde Naso, I didn't allow him to go through the full 30 days. I cut it a little bit short, but long enough to eradicate almost everything, or at least that's what I hope. Um, because again, I, I, I just didn't want to... I don't know. I really don't know what my thought process was. I just figured if I put him in here where I knew everything else was happy, we should be good. Now, that could have been a bad call, obviously, if it was something, but I was, I really didn't feel there was a parasite on them because the copper for that amount of time should have eradicated it. So, luckily, it's been, oh, what, close to a week he's been in here. He's very happy. I'm, you know, I couldn't save them all. I uh, trust me I would have done everything in my power I mean I did try everything if you guys would have seen the amount of water changes I was doing and, and, and it was crazy it was a few long nights because I did not want to lose those fish I, I just feel so guilty I guess you know I'll, I'll you know we'll live and learn but I'm happy I was able to save this one he's doing great he's eating great he's swimming with everyone so I'm at least happy that we were able to save one of them. So I, although I'd really love to have a takeaway for you guys, I can honestly say in this video, I don't think there's a takeaway because I really don't have an answer. I can honestly tell you, I don't know what, still to this day, what caused it. I still don't know how I can avoid it. Um, I'm really hoping that through these videos, we can all learn together and someone in the comments could Give me some guidance as to if you've had the same thing, maybe this can be avoided in the future uh, because I have four fish that went through the same exact treatment, literally by the book, that showed no signs of that. So why is it that the second batch of fish showed issues? I tested ammonia, I tested nitrate, I tested copper. I mean, I, I tested everything and, and nothing to me was alarming. You know, I'd, I'd really love to end this video on a better note, guys, but I really had a long thought process in regards to this video. I said, should I make the video, post it out there? But then I also figured there's a lot of people watching this video and watching my series that if I don't show them this, they're gonna think that someone like me, everything's fine and dandy and there's never any issues, right? And we just have a perfect world, but that's not the case. I go through the same issues that a lot of you guys go through. And to be honest, I'm still learning. I don't feel I know it all. I'm nowhere close to knowing it all. And I'm still, prime example, what happened with me, I'm still learning to this day. So guys, I'm gonna leave this video here. Like I said, I really hope and wish I was you know, a little bit happier, but I mean, with such a, a big loss of fish in a really short amount of time, you know, I can honestly say I tried my best. I did everything I could in my power uh, to try to save them and uh, it obviously didn't work. So we're gonna leave that video here, guys. I uh, really hope, well, I don't hope you enjoyed it, but um, that's gonna be it. I hope someone, anyone is able to leave uh, good comments, comments that can help us all get better from this. More importantly, try to narrow down what happened. I'd really love to hear down in the comments if you've been through a similar issue or know of someone that has. Maybe you can point me in the right direction to make sure this does not happen again, not just for me, but to everybody that's watching these videos. So I'm gonna leave this video here, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, happy reefing.